We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the, the number one station for independent artists. I'm cool like that. I'm cool. Uh, yes, indeed. Luminary Sounds back on your airwaves. Uh, we have the one and only hotel in the Ooh, building and it's yeah. felt like forever i know to get her it's in here. been forever it, it's been forever but is hey, she really here hold on, hold on do top 10 you getting this you getting this before we get it going Uh-oh. before we oh, get God. it going i need oh, you God. to <laughs> sign this i need you to sign this for the Please. luminary squad oh my the God. one and only hotel ladies and gentlemen she is one of the best entertainers i love it uh, yeah with the best it, voice bar none out there and she and plays instruments saying, too she plays instruments barely she said, barely. <laughs> not, not she, she lying she, over here. Now she's being humble. She's being a little she's modest, lying in these streets or whatever. I guess. <laughs> but it is a pleasure to have Hotel. She was part of our independent artist concert series. Yes. And blew everybody away. Yeah. She did. And Everyone in the room. And blew everybody away. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh and God. speaking of the concert series, who was the gentleman that cut off in the Noah? Noah. Noah. He was, it was so funny. I was looking for guitar players. I had two. Literally, I was like, okay, so I have one, and then he canceled like a month before. Okay. And I was like, okay, cool, that's great. So I was finding <laughs> another one. <laughs> and so I found another one, and he literally canceled like 24 hours. I right remember, before. I remember this. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to kill someone. Okay. Like, this is not okay. <laughs> so then someone, I like messaged on Instagram. I just like posted a post. I was like, anyone available this day that can play guitar? Like, I don't even care who you are. I just okay. need you. And he responded, and he was amazing so you just found him on instagram yeah wow he was a friend of a friend that like sent him to me it was crazy and when i met him with your family i was like are you guys related i know we thought are, you, are you guys cousins you you are you brother and sister mean. and you're like we just met no we I literally know. just met with the blonde and the green the eyes and the glasses yeah. we're like and he's such a humble guy he's the coolest he is humble the have you guys performed together since at all we haven't okay wow. he's been doing this whole so he has a whole nother side project yeah. And I follow him on social media. Phenomenal. He's, like, he's a bad boy. Yeah. He's incredible. He's yeah. a bad boy. Yeah. He's a bad boy. So what, he's been busy doing all that. He's been busy doing all that. Yeah. Well, well, what are you guys talking about? Because I follow him too, but I don't see no bad boy, nothing on his page. Well, no, I no, see he's a on bad boy. Like his 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 uh, his style, his music, his oh, creativity. Yeah. He's a bad oh, okay. boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I see he does <laughs> stuff too. Like as he's far not as Robin musically. Banks. <laughs> um, on social media, he'll post stuff every now and then. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, he's working. Yeah, you know, that's so. good. That's good. He's he's incredible. Yeah. Okay, so I definitely want to for the people that don't know it, that haven't heard your voice, we do have a drop uh, from the concert series that you will you're gonna love it. I'm telling you. I know you got this look like it is phenomenal. She's like, what are you doing? It's our favorite one to play. It's honestly. our favorite one. We we've been playing, playing this for so many for months, months since months. December. We've been playing this for, and you're here, so you get to hear it. We'll play it exactly. a little bit later. But how'd you get into music first? Oh. You want to go? You wanna I want to like, go. Let's go back. Let's go yes. back. Let's go back. Let's go tell, back. Tell the luminaries all about you and and who you are. So, um, I was kind of always into singing, always into doing that stuff, and then in my elementary school—that's one, yeah. Okay. In my elementary school, we you couldn't join choir till you were in third grade. And so, like, I always, I just was like waiting to be in third grade. I was like, Please. <laughs> that is fun. like, I just want to get old so I can sing. Like, oh, okay. And so oh, I joined she the had choir. Her whole plan. Oh, I was like ready because we you could also do the little like the bells, the chimes in choir, oh, but mm-hmm. you couldn't do it till sixth grade. And I was like, <sighs> Why are they playing all these like, limitations? I know. I was like, yeah. I want to be cool, <laughs> and it never happened. So, and so I did the choir thing, and I got really into that. Loved it. Wasn't a great singer, but I really put my soul into it, so it worked in. And then started taking lessons. My seventh grade best friend died. Mm. Oh, sorry to hear that. It's okay. It was horrific, and it was horrible. And he was the person that always, like, I mean, crazy. But he was like, you need to be on. This was right when American Idol was, like, really big. Okay. And he was like, you need to be on American Idol. And I'll sit front row, like, blah, blah, like, keep singing. Really? And then he ended up passing away in, like, a dirt bike accident mm. it was horrible Ooh. and we were i was 11. wow that's traumatic it was horrible and i just had so many feelings and i didn't know what to do with them and i wrote mm. my first song because of that yeah i wrote my first song about Man. him and i like <laughs> if you listen to it now it's very sweet 
but it's like acapella. I couldn't play an instrument. I didn't know what I was doing. I like, it was like four in the morning. I'm yeah. like crying. And then I like yeah. put my mom's video camera on my nightstand and just sang the song to the video camera. Wow. That's beautiful. It really is though. Cause I had nothing. I just was like, I have feelings and like put them into what, the song since we're talking about back then was it like a camcorder oh yeah it was like the stupid little like this one <laughs> you still have it you had that audio still <laughs> oh i doubt it oh my oh, mom that's honestly, a treasure yeah, it is a my treasure. mom might somewhere come on she got it she oh, probably man. does i'm gonna ask her, <laughs> ask her. love yeah. your mom she is the best she's a goof <laughs> but yeah so i did that and I, like i remember i was so excited i like woke my mom up at like four in the morning i was like mom watch and like <laughs> Played it on the little camcorder with the screen that's like this big and it's all right, blurry. Right, right, right. Uh, and so I, after that, I kind of, oh, there was a reflections program. I don't know if you guys ever did those in your like no. middle schools or anything. No. So it was Not like, I remember. Yeah, tell us that. all about it. Yeah, it was that, like that's a, that performing art school. <laughs> <laughs> that was all those. <laughs> it was like a, like a competition thing where you could submit art like so it was sort of like art. a talent show no it was like you just submission based and then hmm. people voted and you won hmm. like a okay. gift card they to need to like bring that the back mall. Yeah, yeah for real i think they do still do it it's i don't know it was maybe it's a california cool. thing and probably yeah yeah hmm. they didn't right. do that in mississippi they didn't do that in massachusetts either. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> but yeah so we did that and i it the theme like you have to do something that was art related that had to do with the theme okay the theme was i can make a difference by and so I recorded the song with my vocal teacher, like acapella, me and my best friends at the time, like sang harmonies. And it was like so cheesy and With cute. the best friends. Yeah, it was really cute. And That's awesome. I submitted it and it was like, I can make a difference by remembering a friend in song. Mm. And it ended up winning. And it went like, like four stages it won almost to like nationals i think it lost at nationals That's incredible. oh wow it's incredible and i was like this is so bad like why do people like that but then it was one of those things where it's like i guess yeah I gotta right keep it was doing really it. is there a version on youtube somewhere no Oh, we're so gonna gracious. find a camcorder. We're gonna <laughs> find the. Uh, there's so much we gotta. So the only place that I remember it being was his memorial website. Mm. Wow. Okay. And it used to play like right as you came right in. as you come to the site. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I became really good friends with his grandpa because wow. his grandpa recorded music, and so we made like a full recorded version of it. Oh man. And it kind of just like slingshotted me into singing and writing and kind of doing that. So you built upon that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay. then I just started oh, yeah. doing as much. And then by 13, I was in a band with a bunch of 18 year olds gigging and doing things. And then okay. 14 had a full band and we toured like a hundred gigs a year. Wow. Oh, wow. So you've been doing, you've been doing this for a while. I've been doing it for too long. Okay. So <laughs> he would you be feel, so proud of you. Yeah. Do you um, yeah. It's interesting because you've kind of been all over the place mm -hmm. uh, with your music. Mm -hmm. it, was there a part in your music where you're like, yeah, I'm kind of done with this. I might want to do something else. Yeah. Okay. I was in a band with my brothers. Okay. And then they were, so they're t six years younger than me. So mm -hmm. when I was like 18, I was in a band with them and they were 12. Oh. And so we were writing songs and we did the whole like Disney kid route with the, the pop music and the music videos and all the covers. And we had a significant amount of traction mm -hmm. with that. Like we played in the Gibson showroom at NAMM. Nice. We had That's Par cool. Paramore shared our video of their cover on That's their crazy. Facebook and their stuff. And it was like, we were like getting things. We won uh, Ryan Seacrest's top cover for Wrecking oh Ball goodness. or something like that. I don't know. It was a bunch wow. of stuff. So we were doing it. And then I just, I got, I, I Gemini'd and I got bored. <laughs> it's all good. And I got bored. You got bored. And, bored of your brothers. Well, I just wanted to start writing things that I could write. And they were 12. Kind of like a Michael Jackson thing. You just, just ready to move on. Yeah. And okay. it, so I kind of stopped doing that and did the solo thing. And then I've been doing that. You okay. just wanted to spread your wings. I just wanted to talk about real life versus I, like yeah, twelve year old. Like I'm in middle school. Right. You, now right, you know right, who's right. a big fan of you, Allie Caldwell. Oh, I'm a big fan of her. She. Yeah. So. so we were in the back when you were singing on stage with with Omar, and he was just like, "Wow, look, listen to her tone." And Allie was like, "Oh, oh my God, she's amazing." There's yeah. so many flowers and compliments, and I'm just sitting up there like, "Man, we put this together." <laughs> I yeah. felt great about it. You, you because of the talent. It was phenomenal. Angelo RC as well. Oh, Angelo RC as well. Well, you know, we have it right here. We have our, our poster yeah. here back here. Yeah. Yeah. No, that show was incredible. And everyone was just like, the level of talent at that show was by far 
supreme like it was so good and everyone you could tell was like handpicked and had yes crazy talent yes that just yeah. emanated the room and it was amazing so I yeah was, um yeah. it was uh it was definitely very special we look forward to doing that again for sure uh, it was a lot of work but you know i think we were most proud of like you said the talent the talent mm -hmm. was just phenomenal from the, the rappers the singers just you know and seeing all you all come together yes yeah but that's always the coolest part about playing shows and that's like that's i mean i've been a live artist i think more than i've ever been a studio artist okay i i, I just doesn't i don't get the people right and i love the people part right and so the the shows and that stuff where you get to meet people that actually engage Versus like a studio where I'm screaming my soul into a microphone. It just doesn't respond the same. Okay. So I've always loved the live shows and like playing. And so it was just like the best of all worlds ever with the level of everyone. So I love it. So what about Thank the you. energy when people are watching you? Are you looking into the crowd and seeing if they're enjoying the show? Sometimes. Sometimes you are? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, I do this really great thing where I black out when I sing. You black out? Yeah. Okay. A lot. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. I think, okay, so there's this. Explain that. I, yeah, I can't remember who said this to me, but there was a quote by someone that said, when you are in your highest self or in your, like, subconscious, you tend to forget who, when, where, and mm -hmm. you lose ego. Mm. And so you become just a... My, I can hear my jacket squeaking. It's all good. And you become this like vessel of just warmth and light and whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's what your gift is. Yeah. And I think that's when I like get so into my songs and get so into the whatever I'm singing, mm -hmm. I black out. And wow. it's less about me and more about like the I'm actual song. Giving whatever I can mm -hmm. wow. in the songs and that kind of stuff. So well, I think I do it a lot. Well, That's speaking deep. of live, we're going to listen to Hotel Live. Now, is it Hotel or do you want to go by Lindsay? Either works. Because I know we had a conversation. You're like, you know, I got to build up my hotel page. And so what would you like to be referred to as as an artist? Either. I Either. mean, so the thing is, is with the hotel, the reason I did the hotel in the first place was because I was teaching and I was teaching kids. And so I wanted to make sure that everything I did and presented as Lindsay Frey, because that was the my name teaching yeah was appropriate i understand and so i didn't do anything that was like even slightly unacceptable like i made sure i was very clean and very put together and very polished under Lindsay. under Lindsay. okay and so i kind of created the hotel as like a i can do whatever i want and i can just kind of i see mm -hmm. that makes like, sense i got it alter ego yeah mm -hmm. it's like an alter ego but sasha yeah, fierce beyonce yeah it's like a filter or it's the lack of a filter i got it i got it which is so funny because now i'm like i'm the same person now <laughs> they're like i i kind of stopped teaching as much okay and i think i turned 28 and i was like i don't even care anymore <laughs> and so they're kind of the same person now okay okay that's good that is good that's, that's good. Yeah. well we're gonna listen to a hotel this is transition live 